Bantam weights here, 61.2 kilograms or 135 pounds. Fidel Gramiccia from Italy in the blue corner. His opponent, David Gruner from the Czech Republic in the red. Fidel, known for his elusive footwork. He bounces in and out of range really well. Tends to leave that lead leg out though for the leg kicks. So David can start to time that rear leg kick on the lead left leg of Fidel. He might have some success there. Tactical battle here, feeling out process. Often we see from two high-level, well-matched athletes. They don't want to give anything away and make a silly mistake early on. They want to consolidate the information to test their opponent's strengths and weaknesses and then further select the plan to maneuver in. David wading in there with his head down, so be careful. Put the head down for the uppercuts and also you take your eyes off your opponent, you can't see what's coming next. with the best footwork in the battle. Repertoire in the kickboxing round. Nice head kick as well from Fidel. Fidel opting to go to the body as well. Whips that lead leg in beautifully. David looking to get the clinch. Briefly tastes a touch from Fidel, but he's got to set these advances up. Start throwing the leg kicks, got to start throwing the punches. Just disguises want to work the takedowns and the punch. They'll do a good job of circling out now. This is what we needed from Gay Rooney in the previous fight. Outside work, lots of circling angles, firing the kicks, but not overcommitting to allow their opponent to change levels. Nice shot from Dale, beautiful double leg, drives his opponent back to the cage here, overhook for David. They're potentially looking for Kimura here, maybe the triangle as well, before he was in the guard. He's giving the guard pass up now. Full guard for David. David now giving up the back at the end of the round. Nice takedown map return from Fidel. Knee to the leg for good measure. End of the round. And it showed 
for me, Fidel as well, showing the grappling prowess as well as the striking prowess. And take a look at the replay. Shake off from Dell saying there's nothing on that. See the way he switches up, changes levels. He's always looking to fire. And there was a beautiful double leg. He shot that from quite far out, actually, but drove forward, ran the takedown. It was the mat return we saw. Belly to back. And returned the fighter from the Czech Republic to the mat. In the red corner now, start to. Now he's got to start to be more comfortable and confident in his technique. You know, he's got to allow it to flow. He can't be too cautious about what Fidel's got to do. He's just got to implement what he wants to do. I'd like to see more head movement as well from David. Combinations finishing with a kick. Adesso <laughs> struggling to find his range here in this fight. And there's a point as well where you have to come be it, come with one with being hit. You know, you're going to get hit and bite. As soon as you accept that, that in turn opens up your ability to start to dodge the punches and defend a bit more. The whole time you're overzealous and overcautious moving back, it kind of allows you to get hit more. It's such a weird thing. In the human psyche, we want to lean away and not and get away from the danger. But actually, in actual fact, in a fight, if you're leaning away with the hands away from your head, you make it an easier target. You know, it's the head movement, which is the hardest thing to do because you're almost turning into your opponent and staying in front of them to load the relevant punch to, to counter. This is what we need more from, from David. Forward pressure, but not wild punches where he's going to get caught and force him to be on the back foot again. He's got to think technical. He's got to think... Bread and butter boxing, day one. Jabs, one twos, one two threes. And if he feels like he can, he can finish with a leg, he can hammer that lead leg to try and take the footwork away from Fidel, he's going to have some success there. Nice combination, single leg now from David. Double on hooks from Fidel again, double on hooks being king in the grappling realm. David doing a good job of preventing the takedown, but he needs to start pummeling for the underhooks, push the head away, pummel for the underhooks. Nice work from both athletes there. They're looking for the trip. They're recognizing that and, and backstepping. Double leg again, I love the way he runs and he just seals the deal with the outside trip. He's caught in the guillotine here. This will be a massive turn of events if David Gwynn from the Czech Republic can finish by guillotine. Ten seconds left to work here. Can he get it? Squeezing. The thumb goes up from the man from Italy. Body shots as well for good measure. And what an exciting end to that round. David Gwynn is showing he's still in the fight, the Czech Republic. Still here to win. Here's a replay. The left hook and the head kick from Fidel. Left hook, right hand just misses from David. We needed more of that, more aggression from him. Superman jab from Fidel. There was a combination again. Cause the single leg and the scramble after that. Okay, 
He's only final round between Italy and the Czech Republic. Fidel from Italy in the blue corner, David from the Czech Republic in the red. We saw an excellent submission attempt at the end of that last round from David. Fidel thus far has dominated in the striking round, as well as the grappling as well. He shoots a double that's great. He can even do it from quite a distance and still obtain hold over the legs. David overly cautious about advancing. Fidel just with the speed advantage as well. See they're very, very fast and going for the question mark, kick faking low and going high. Start to try and, he's starting to try and tactically advance in striking now with the question mark. He goes low and he fakes low and goes high. You know, he's starting to think about ways in to expose the holes in the game of his opponent. As this fight goes on, he grows more and more in confidence. His ability to throw different techniques as well. David Bingham, set the cage here, but it's Fidel on the outside that's moving around and determining when these strikes land. And 20 seconds left on the clock here. You could argue that David really has to do something decisive. He's got to finish this fight to be able to go forward. David having a little bit of trouble pulling the trigger with regards to shooting his way. He kind of reaches out with his arms as opposed to fire with his legs. You know? The legs really teleport him to your opponent. You know, the climate are too important as well in, in the gym, the strength and conditioning, to allow you to be very explosive, to drive forward. The, the arms obviously clasp the back of the knees, but there we go. Did a better job of punching his way in now. Looks for the single leg, but pulls his opponent straight to mount. Fidel now in the half guard. 25 seconds left in the third and final round. Fidel might look to improve his position. And he's got it because the referee's clapping on here. He's asking him to keep active. Otherwise, he will lose the position. But to be honest, it's Fidel that's really dominated the ground game, has dominated the top game. Nice sweep there from David. Armbar attempt from Fidel. What a back and forth fight right at the end of the round. Excellent, excellent fight. Very, very entertaining as the crowd gets behind it. Now an edge towards Italy as we look at the replay. It's a double jab there from Fidel. It was the end of the round. You see David Gruner buck up to the sky, get the sweep. Fidel immediately looked for the armbar after that. Yeah.